education background. <laughs> this is a fun one because um, I went to art high school. Then I got my um, bachelor's degree in English literature. I then went on to get um, my master's in English lit, which I didn't complete. I only had a semester left and my thesis, and I would have been done with my master's, but I decided that um, I really wasn't going anywhere with that. I was just, I was just getting a master's for getting a master's sake. I just, I just really wanted to continue um, analyzing text and and doing closer readings. And for some reason, um, the master's program and English literature didn't really satisfy me in a way that I wanted it to. I didn't exactly want to do research and I didn't really exactly want to teach. So I had to like, I had to start thinking really hard about what I wanted to do with my life. And at that time, I started working at this home for developmentally disabled adults, um, the youngest of which is twice my age. Um, which is interesting because this population really hasn't gotten this old before. So it's kind of like groundbreaking kind of work. <laughs> it's uh, really interesting. Um, I really love it. And um, at the time, I really wanted to get into it as a means to um, help bolster my, what I thought was going to be my career as a nutritionist. Um, a lot of what I do is guide them in their food choices, um, as well as other things. I'm like a counselor, um, little person on their shoulder telling them what to do, but, you know, guiding, not telling them what to do. But anyway, um, and then as I started to get more into nutrition and, and read more about it, I didn't really feel like it was going to accomplish what I really wanted, which was to change lives and, and, and all of that. Um, it was, it was a lot of, uh, it was a lot of, um, I guess it was like six years of, of going through really boring stuff to get to something that wasn't really as rewarding as I thought it was going to be. So then I decided that I was going to become a nurse, which I'm really excited about because um, there are a lot of crap nurses out there and I intend to be one of the really good nurses. And um, a lot of what I do at my job is um, really nurse work. I I take blood sugars, I, I um, take temperatures, I administer medication. I actually took a course in uh, administrating administration of medicine <clears throat> I uh, nah, nah, nah. I do a lot of stuff that nurses do I, I I take blood pressures I um I make judgment calls about um about people with diabetes about um conditions and all of that and a lot of these people are becoming more frail as they age they're like if, if they're 40, they're really like 60. And we do have 60 year olds in the house who have um, really severe osteoporosis. And um, so interesting stuff, I think. And it's funny because I've always been interested in science, specifically like medical kind of things, but I've never been, I never felt that I was good at that sort of stuff. But I do have this sort of internal passion for it. So, and it's interesting because I've been looking for this sort of passion. And um, I think I finally found it. And um, so, yeah, that brings me to, to today. Um, coming from art, which when I was in art high school, I did medical illustration. And I thought that was fascinating. But <clears throat> medical illustrators have to actually go through the, what is it, 12 years of medical school? <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> and I'm already sick of school. Uh, as for geekness, 
I think it's clear that I'm a gigantic dork. Um, what can I really say about that? I, um, I enjoy a good book. I have read comic books. I, I, I've always really been into comic books. I need to get more into that again because I really like to read. And um, now that I'm not in the whole English field, I can read a whole lot more of the stuff that I want to read. It's like sort of like guilty pleasure reading and all that. Um, what else? Um, you might have noticed that in my room, this is not my room, but um, I have Lord of the Rings posters. I, I have a Dexter poster. Um, I, I don't know. I'm just really into a lot of fantasy and what can I really say? <laughs> I'm just a geek. There you go. Um, I knew that I was going to be a geek when my mother dressed me as Spock for my fourth grade uh, Halloween party. And I don't know, I was raised by geeks and I became a geek, Leslie. <laughs> um, do haters come out of the woodwork? I think this is my last question. Um, no, not really. I think it's quite surprising. Um, most of the weird comments that I get from like strange people are like the fatty comments, you know, those, those like fat fetish kind of people, which I really find disturbing, but it's really kind of harmless, I think. So in that sense, I don't really care. I just sort of go, huh, weird. And then skip over it. <laughs> um, so yay, I don't really have haters. I don't want them. Don't come after me. <laughs> All right. So yes, I answered questions. If you have more of them, I'll answer in the comment thing. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And now my voice hurts. Goodbye. Okay, so I missed the question. And uh, this one is kind of an important one as I am coming up on my 100 pound goal. Uh, and it has to do with um, when you lose 100 pounds, is it like some magical thing where um, everything is better and a lot of the things that you had to deal with before aren't really there anymore and, and all that kind of stuff. Well, I'm going to tell you, as, as I mentioned previously, I had a lot of medical slash um, mental health kind of weirdness that I had before that I don't have anymore. But now I have like new things where I have a lot of uh, rashes pertaining to my loose skin when I exercise a lot. Um, I have to... I mean, I can wear a whole lot more clothes that are fashionable, which is great, but I also can't wear a lot of tops. I have to constantly look for things that are flattering um, on me and hide my stomach, and that can sometimes be really hard. Um, a, lot of the, a lot of the clothes that I thought I was going to fit into at this point, I don't fit into because of my stomach or because of um, the fact that I don't have a perfect figure, um, I look a whole lot better in clothes than I do naked, which I think is always going to be the case, um, but I mean, I do have my health back, and that's really the most important thing, and now it becomes more like I don't know it's 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 mostly like a health for the long run kind of deal now I'm already healthy but I want to ensure that I'll be healthy for the rest of my life so a lot of the things that I started with I have to continue with for the rest of my life and it's sort of like this thing where like the journey doesn't end here it just keeps on rolling and rolling <laughs> so I mean yeah.
Um, I should probably talk about this more in another video, but I just wanted to touch on that kind of briefly. So yeah, hun losing 100 pounds, um, it's just the, the top of the surface. There's a whole lot more stuff you have to explore. And you find a lot about your, you found out, hey, you find out a lot about yourself along the way. But I'm going to say that now, in the, in the last 50 or so pounds that I have to lose, I'm going to be finding out a whole lot more about myself. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Now I'm really done.